Uh. Okay, so what a Ooh! Dude, I don't know. I don't know when... What happened? Oh, right. I remembered. Yeah, okay. So, Owl House. So... If you do not know about the glories of Owl House, about the epic tale of the Owl House, uh, Ida, the Owl Lady, lose the human. Lose? Loose? Lo loose? There is some pronunciation of um, UZ that I'm. <sighs> now I'm trying to remember what her full name was, actually. Was it like Luz Nasita, I think, or if I'm remembering correctly, which I'm probably not, because because now I, I want to say that her name was Lucita. I'm looking it up. Lose Nasita. I'm not saying that right though. I'm definitely Matt. I'm definitely okay. But anyways, um, yeah, that. Good God, though, that is just about. That is such a good show, and like, you know, I I feel like I don't know. I feel like. It's very easy for me to be like overly negative about something like Kenobi, um, but I think there's 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 a lot of things about Kenobi that like they did wrong. <laughs> um, well, I, I don't know about a lot of things they did wrong. Um, the plot, I don't know. I don't know. I think the plot was fine, but it could have probably been. I don't know. There are some elements of it that could have uh, been different, and certainly. Um, the writing for a lot of the episodes could have been better. Again, I think the plot was okay, just, you know, not amazing writing. Certainly, like, um, I can't remember her name, just literally slapping a storm, tr two stormtroopers. <laughs> uh... I don't know. Because, you know, it would have been nice... I don't know. I can't remember exactly. It would have been nice if there was some, like... You know, instead of her, like, just literally overpowering stormtroopers by slapping them, it would have been nice if, like, there was, you know, something, you know, that happened. Like, they got distracted and she took advantage of the opportunity. It would have made, you know, in that case, like, it would have made her character seem less ridiculous and the moment less comedic and more of like oh yes no she's you know opportunistic and she's taking you know advantage of the situation like that probably would have made her a stronger character that 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 kind of a moment would have made for a stronger character building moment i i would think i think the ending was okay but also like you know there's things like the way that they did the fight in uh in the last episode like is <sighs> fan service isn't bad but like there is a way to do fit like it the way they did the fan service was just in your face like this is star wars take the star wars <laughs> and um there's better ways to do that there is there is better way you know like honestly um, you know what, I think, like, I, I think that The Mandalorian Season 2 got worse as it progressed, and, um, you know, I don't know, um, and I have to wonder, honestly, like, because I think, oh, I can't remember what the, his name is, but the, the character in the first uh in the first episode the sheriff character who was an actual established character in um the aftermath trilogy uh, well i don't know about established character but he showed up in 
aftermath. Like he was done really well, and it's like for me who hadn't read the book, um, to me it was like, oh, this is a character, and oh right, I remember hearing a thing about this character one time before. Okay, no, that's really cool. Um, and you know, like just yeah, it was it was great. It was a good. Uh, it was a good moment. Uh, I'm gonna go to this space so I don't fight the Robo Assassin. <laughs> yeah, like, and you know they didn't really like do some crazy ass thing with his character. You know, um, they they just treated him like, you know, he was just a character and he showed up. Whereas you know Bo-Katan and Ahsoka, like they kind of felt like they had to move their characters apparently. Um, <laughs> or they did more with their characters and, you know, I don't know if, I don't know, it just felt like it was, it sort of became muddied because it was much less about Mandalorian than I think it should have been, you know? Um, whereas like, oh, dude, like, you know, sorry, but, um, I was talking about Owl House. Owl House is fucking amazing. Um, I've watched all there is to watch now, and good lord, I am excited for season three, even if it is kind of short. Uh, I, I mean, it's basically three double episodes, you know, is what's going on there, which is unfortunate, but also, um, it's a good thing that we got it instead of ending it at season two because spoiler season two the ending of season two is a cliffhanger <laughs> and um it, in an alternate world where they finished like okay there's an alternate world where they finish season two the same way and like it's extremely disappointing <laughs> um because it's literally like oh here's this ending Oh, here's we're building up to this ending. That's never gonna happen. Um, or there's the season two where they rushed things insanely <laughs> along and um, probably made a mediocre, um, at best, a mediocre ending. <laughs> um, although you know, I honestly I could see them like having tweaked some things around with the ending, but it would still would have been. It I don't. I cannot see, I cannot at least in this moment pr picture the Owl House um, ending season two where they did without it being uh, not as amazing as an ending as they, they could make with three double episodes. I think it's going to be a very, very interesting thing. I, I'm just sad that it's not out right now, but that's not a complaint, that's just unfortunate realities of uh life and production so yeah <laughs>